What's up guys, this is Marcus from Studio One Expert and I wanted to show you a really, really quick tip that I like to use when I have multiple plugins that I wanna be able to open and close and kind of store in a memory state. So let's have a really quick look at a scenario here. Uh, let's say that I have two guitar tracks that I'm working with. In this case, it's a set of guitar tracks that are mono. They're panned out hard left and hard right. And each of them are running through a Waves guitar amp simulator. So I'm gonna open up this plugin and you notice that I've pinned this here. And I'm just gonna position this up top here. And then I wanna open up this plugin over here. And this one has also been pinned. So let me just set these up so that they're sitting on my screen in a nice setting, something like that. Uh, let's say that we also wanted to have this plugin open. So essentially we're viewing all of the plugins that are pertinent to the tracks that we're working with. Uh, let my OCD tendencies take over, but uh, just make sure that these are all set nice and evenly. So let's think of this as a view that we want to save. We want to be able to toggle uh, back and forth between. If I click the F12 key, these are going to disappear here. Now, if I click the F12 key again, they're all going to reappear. So this we can use as kind of a temporary zoom stored state by clicking the F12 key. Now, if I move to this channel over here and I click F11, that's gonna bring open the channel editor for this particular track on the console, which in this case brings up my guitar amp. So F11 is gonna to toggle that, but if I click F12, I'm gonna get all three of those plugins that I wanna be able to see. And clicking F12 again, will close them. So if you have something like a voiceover chain, or perhaps this could be your two bus processing or something along those lines, you can use the F12 key to toggle your two bus processing or any bus processing that you have on any track or any plugins that you've pinned. So you can use it as a temporary state of visibility for those plugins to be able to show and hide them. So those are some really useful shortcuts that I find myself using all the time, especially when I'm working on a single monitor screen. It saves me a lot of clicking and allows me to see things really quickly at a glance. Anyways, I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.